Hey, it's Keith from Man Publishing. Thanks for joining me today. Uh, today we're going to review a uh, new piece of software called Prospector. Now, what Prospector is, um, well, it's to prospect customers, basically, right? Uh, what you can do is you can enter a key phrase or a URL list um, in, in, into here. Um, it will review all of these options as well as what you can set. And what it's going to do is it's going to bring back, uh, based on an area, right? So if I want to search New York, uh, it's going to bring back all of the results that it finds um, for the particular keyword that you're looking for in the area that you specify, all right? Now, Prospector was really designed um, Spe uh, specifically for really video, okay, for somebody for offering um, you know digital video services. However, using after using this a few times here, you could literally use this for any kind of digital service you offer, whether it's web design and web development, um, SEO or social media management. Um, uh, also, you know, just straight up SEO uh, services. So, if, I mean, if you offer any of these services and you need to and you want to prospect for for brand new customers in a specific area, um, this. Uh, Prospector works perfect for it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually just jump in here and start searching and kind of show you exactly what's uh, what's going on and how you can use this in your business, regardless of which um, you know of what kind of service you you offer. Okay, so let's go ahead and search uh, for fitness centers. Okay, and we're going to uh, pull up a few of the options here. I'm actually we'll set our um, we'll set our area. What I'm going to do is I'm going to choose um, let's just do New York. Oops. Okay. And what you have is some advanced options here. Okay. So what you can do is um, you can basically set a radius around the search that you want. Now, you don't have to, to get as specific as a city. You can actually just hit the United States if you want to. It's going to be a huge um, result set. Um, so, you know, which, which is fine. Um, but just so you know that you don't have to use um, something so narrow as, you know, as a city. Um, so what we can do is, again, set that search radius. Uh, we can automatically retrieve the who is record. Um, and the who is record, if you're not familiar with it, basically shows the domain owner and uh, basically a lot of the business information, right? Like their name, their address, phone numbers, emails, anything they have listed there. Um, as long as it's public, uh, it will show you that information, right? So that's great data to have. Uh, now you can also retrieve their Alexa rank, okay, which is just a way um, to it's kind of their clout rating. Um, so that's a great you know a great thing to to know about if you are um, you know looking into you know SEO, uh, especially SEO services, okay. Now we can also go into a deep analysis mode uh, where it's going to analyze H1 tags, like heading tags, the page size, whether it's WordPress, whether Google Analytics is installed, and an actual word count. So again, as we're seeing, you know it's not really just for video. Now it's also going to go out and find out if if there's videos on the page, how long those videos are, if the link is broken, um, and, and all kinds of other little uh, statistics, okay? So let's go ahead and just turn that on and we'll get the, the deep analysis as well. Um, now what you can also do is um, you can set the page time out here. Um, so this is the how long it's going to wait for each page to load. So I'm just going to keep it at 10. Uh, it's a little bit low. If it hits a website that's just a very slow loading website, it may just time out, but that's okay. I think we'll get enough results back to just to give you the uh, an idea of what this does. Now we can also do the max uh, prospecting depth. Um, so this is how many websites it's going to check. And I'm just gonna put it down to 20 for the sake of the, of the, the demonstration here so it just goes a little bit quicker. Now you can also exclude common directories and social sites if you want. You can put those domains in there if there's certain domains that you just don't want to come have come back in, uh, in the results set, okay? All right, so what we do is uh, we're all set. Uh, all we need to do is hit begin. Now, what I'm going to do, uh, it's going to go start crawling, and it usually takes about 60 seconds, but I'm just going to pause this video for a second until actually the records start to, uh, are, are done coming back, um, so you're not just sitting here watching this thing spin. So it's all done, pro um, done collecting uh, all the sites, and it took about... I don't know, 45 seconds, something like that to get all these back. Now, from here we can start, um, we can export the leads or start the mailing campaign right now, but I'm just going to head back to the results so we can take a look at what we're, uh, what we have here. Now, as you'll see, it's brought back um, 19 records, okay, out of these, and these are all fitness centers around centers around the New, uh, New York area. Now, what you're seeing here is there's, a, there's a, um, a little legend down here, okay, this is whether it found an email address, whether it found video, uh, on on the, the page or not, um, whether it was embedded, uh, whether it's YouTube, Vimeo, the quality of that video, and whether it was in HD. 
Now, again, as I said, this was kind of designed for um, video marketing, uh, for people who, who want to offer video marketing services or just video creation services. But again, don't get hung up on that because you can literally use this because it will go out and find social profiles as well. So you can use this for a lot of things. Um, I mean, even you know, if you're offering, uh, I mean, really, it's anything. It doesn't even have to be a digital product. You can still go out and mine and see what these sites are about and see if it's somebody that uh, might fit, you know, fit your service that you could prospect, okay? So what you're going to see on a few of these results here is what it found, okay? So now this one found an email address and it found that there was some video on, on the site as well. This one down here uh, found an email address, video, uh, embed codes, and it was YouTube, okay? Um, so we've got a few different results there. Uh, now what you can do is actually uh, is click on these things to get a little bit more in depth about them, okay? So it's going to give you contact pages that it finds. Uh, it found a video. Okay, so the first video on the page is here. You can click it. It'll take you over to, to that video to watch it as well. Um, whether it was short video found and long videos found. Okay, so because it, really the size of those videos, uh, if, if, if video services is what you're, you know, what you're offering, um, can matter because it might be, you know, just a quick 15 second video that they did themselves and they may need, you know, they may need external help uh, to get a more professional looking video. Now, it also found a video link. So here, again, is, is the link um, that you can click on to go, go visit that, that, uh, that particular video and see it, check out the quality. Now, they also have so, uh, social details, right? So they found a Google Plus page, a Twitter handle, and their Facebook page. So if you're into SEO um, and offering SEO services, you can go uh, check out, excuse me, not just SEO, but for social media management. You can go check them out and see, you know, are they, uh, are they keeping up with their social media? Do they need help? And you can then offer your services, right? Now, here's all the who is information. So here's their host is here's all the different information it found um uh, about this particular person and where it's registered the address um and who it's registered to so a lot of a lot of a lot of information there as well now here's their alexa rank um which is two million and, and something so this will give you an idea of how they're showing up um across you know basically uh, based on their keyword kind of where they rank um according to alexa now there's no H1 head, header found, which for SEO purposes you really want to have that in there. So there's a there's a you know a trouble point that you could offer them if you're offering SEO services. Uh, the page size it, it is on WordPress. Uh, there is Google Analytics installed, and the page word count. So this is the home page is 2,700 words. Okay, so now again this is just giving you uh, some basic information uh, around whether they're going to fit your particular service or not. If you're just looking to contact them, you don't care about any of this. It works. It works just fine. Um, you know, putting in your keyword, searching the area. And you're going to get, you know, whichever one that we can, we can find uh, an email address for, you can use and send out an email campaign. Okay, so now what we're going to do is uh, after we've kind of taken a look at this, this is kind of the first thing that it does is just goes out and generally finds these sites. Now what we can do is we can hone, hone these results down a little bit. So if we click on export um, settings, uh, what you can do is you can now toggle some of these things on and off it to kind of uh, narrow down your, your prospect list. Now, obviously, we're going to want email contacts on, right? Because we only want to email, we want to send an email to the ones we have email addresses to. So that's a give me. Now, you can also choose if you'd rather have, uh, if you want embedded video, there are links to video. If it's a short video, you can say, okay, only give me the ones with email address and short videos on it. Um, you can also say only give me the ones that have Facebook and Twitter handles, right? So if you are looking for that social media, um, or you may actually want to leave those off uh, because if they don't have it on, then that you might want to offer your services as a social media manager. Okay. So for now, I'm just going to set this. Um, well, here actually, we'll we'll pick a couple of them. We'll pick uh, video embeds. We'll just pick that one there and. Um, what we'll do is you can actually export these leads into a CSV and upload them wherever you want if you want to use a different uh, system, or you can actually do the emailing and start the campaign right from here. All right, so let's go ahead and actually get that together. Uh, the filter's up, so I guess we need to try another. We need to get a little bit better. Ah, there we go. Okay. All right. So now what we have is uh, basically you're gonna uh, you're gonna have your, your email campaign. Okay. So now you, here's the campaign name. Let's just leave it as that, and we can set whatever subject we want. Um, you know, um, in need of um, you know social media reach. Go ahead and you know draw up your email here. Okay. Now there's some pre-written um, things in here as well. Uh, landing page URLs, insert a placeholder, all kinds of different, it's, you know, it's your basic kind of WYSIWYG that you can use. And you could also send a test to this as well. Now I'm not going to hit the continue on this because it's actually going to set this thing in motion and I don't really want to do that. Um, so basically what's going to happen is um, it's going to uh, go ahead and send to those, to those folks. Okay. And what it'll do is it'll also there's, um, and actually I think if I go to the next step where, oh, okay, let's go with, uh, 
at least 200 characters. So let's just put a bunch of stuff in here just to get by it. Let's see if that's enough. There we go. All right, so now what we can do is we'll set whether we want this to track or not, okay? So basically, it'll set a tracking pixel um, so that you can see who has opened, who's actually opened these emails, okay? So at that point, you know you have some interest if somebody's opening up the email and looking at it, and you can, and you can you know, reach out and kind of make that next step, all right? So once I'm good to go, I'm going to go ahead and schedule that sending, which I'm not going to do for this demo, and it will go ahead and send those emails out, okay? Now, what you can do, uh, what this also has is it has a landing page builder in it, so for now, I'm I'm just going to leave this um, and uh, I've already created just a quick demo one here so let's just edit it and take a look at it so it's it's pretty basic um, but it gives you a couple of different templates to choose from a um, couple, couple different looks look so what you can do is you can create this landing page about whatever uh, campaign about the service that you're emailing these these prospects for right and you can actually lead them to a landing page if you want to give them some more information now you can set the page headline. Uh, you can put a video there if you want. You put all your content in here. I just have some some uh, placeholder stuff. Uh, your footer lines. Now you can have whether you want a contact form on the page, just a link, or nothing at all. Okay. Uh, if you want that contact page on there, uh, you just go ahead and fill out these couple of fields. You can also submit a thank you. So this is the what happens after they submit. So it's a thank you message. Uh, there's some additional advanced options here for CSS if you want to style it a little bit differently. Uh, put in other scripts such as. Um, your Facebook pixel perhaps uh, if you want to do some remarketing um, you, you can put in Google Analytics whatever you want to put in uh, here as well you can track then kind of who's coming to that page all right now the landing page is enabled so it will be you can it will be accessible <laughs> you know you can turn this off if um, you know like it says here disabled landing pages can be uh, redirected to a URL useful if you're closed you know if the offer has closed so now you can actually send them off into uh, a different page maybe some sort of a uh, list building page or, or something that you want to collect their email give them a freebie you know whatever you want to do you can do that as well so let's just go ahead and take a look at it real quick all right so this is just a video that I threw up there one of my old videos but as you'll see it just has my my generic title my video my content would be here here is my uh, is my uh, my form if they want to contact me right um, so in the end it's just a nice basic little 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 landing page um, but very simple and very quick to set up especially if you're doing a lot of different um, a lot of different campaigns through prospector you know maybe doing it by by area right I mean there may be you know 50 or 60 different cities you want to hit uh, so you're going to create different campaigns for these uh, so you can create these quick landing pages like that uh, to give people more information and you can actually make it specific um, you know geo target them basically so you can make it specific to their area um, so it doesn't look like you've just kind of pulled their name off of some you know off of some web search right um, you know and that goes the same for you know when you when you're prospecting and you're actually running the searches that information that is giving you is is vital because you're really doing some research on them and when you approach them in that first in that email campaign you can then use some of that information you could say hey I've noticed you have videos on your website they don't appear to be very long uh, do you you know I run a business that offers services to help people with video blah 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 uh, you know and so on and so forth so you can go ahead and and uh, you know use that information to your advantage okay now all your campaigns will be stored over here uh, the, the first thing which I, I kind of skipped through uh, from the beginning is uh, there's a setup wizard which basically you just put in your Google API key and a Bing API key because you can do either of those searches and you're off and, and ready to go. Uh, it's very, very simple to set up. Now, what I'd like to do in these videos is talk about the funnel with this as well. Um, the, uh, at the time I'm shooting this video, this launch is still uh, a week or so off. Um, so they really haven't defined exactly what's going to be in that funnel. Um, there's just some generics there. Uh, but the Prospector app is $67. So what you're seeing is $67 uh, one-time cost. Um, and then I believe there's going to be an upsell, up, upsell for more campaigns. Okay, So basically it's going to be a, a, de a detailed, I'm sorry, a, a usage limit and a, probably an outgoing email limit limit as well okay so that's most likely what that first upsell is going to be is to is to increase both of those um, they're also offering a white label on this as well that's 297 one time um, and then there's something called prospector theme uh, which I'm not exactly sure sorry but there's just not enough information out there for me to know um, but basically that's that's kind of what you're getting so I mean it's a, a great great tool for prospect again anything don't get hung up that it gives you a lot of video uh, information in there it is geared towards uh, you know people who offer video service Services, but you can use this for anything that information that's coming back and as quickly as it's coming back imagine just sitting there 
you know, trolling through the internet, doing Google searches, you know, kind of, you know, you do a Google search for fitness centers. Yeah, you may get them, but you're also going to get a ton of blogs, a ton of other things that you just may not want. You want actual businesses. So this is going to skip through all of that, save you a ton of time. So go ahead. And um, this is, uh, I believe it's launching on, uh, let's see. Uh, Tuesday, November 29th is when this is going to be live. So I've dropped a, um, a link down to the sales page right in the description there. You can go ahead and click on that and pick up your copy.